They'll ask four markers to formulate. So there's a problem to formulate LPP. Each case is given and write its profit. Sometimes they'll give cost. So like this, I'll make it table. And availability. So this is availability. How much maximum it is available. Now I'll formulate. So if you want to formulate LPP, first you define unknowns. 0, 5. 0, 5 is, means if x is 0, it's the point and what y-axis. Welcome to the session, dear students. Today, let me conclude the chapter that is linear programming by taking the types of problems that will come for your board exam. So they'll ask four markers to formulate. So it's a problem to formulate LPP. A manufacturer produces two products, P and Q. P requires four hours on machine M1 and two hours on machine M2. Q requires 2 hours on machine M1 and 5 hours on machine M2. Available total time on machine M1 is 2 hours and uh, M2 is 24 hours. Profit per unit total on M1 is 2 hours and M2 is 24 hours. Profit per unit of P is rupees 6 and Q is rupees 8. What are the quantities of each should be produced to? maximize the profit formulate the LPP they are asking you to formulate LPP see I taught you if you want to formulate LPP convert this to table no let me convert this to table so if it is a manufacturing problem so types of products they are producing so they are producing two types of products one is P and the other one is Q so make two columns one is P the other one is Q these are the types of product and resources to produce this what are the resources they are using so resources they are using is machine M1 and machine M2. These are the resources they are using. And profit for each case is given and write its profit. Sometimes they will give cost. So like this, I will make a table. And availability. So this is availability. How much maximum it is available. For any, any manufacturing product, you can make a table like this. Then you formulate it, it will become easy for you to formulate. So now P requires 4 hours of machine M1. So this is P, machine M1, so 4 hours. And Q requires 2 hours machine M2, uh, machine M1 and same P requires 2 hours on machine M2. So P requires 4 hours machine M1, 2 hours machine M2. And Q, Q requires 2 hours on machine M1 and 5 hours on machine M2. Q requires 2 hours on machine M1 and 5 hours on machine M2. And then total time on machine M1 is 2 hours and machine said there is on M2, M1 and M2 on M2 is 24 hours. For M1 it is 2 hours, M2 it is 24 hours. For this total availability is 2 hours, for this total availability is 24 hours. And profit, profit for P is 6 rupees, profit for Q is 8 rupees. So this is what is given. Now I will formulate. So if you want to formulate LPP, first you define unknowns. That is let x units of P, x units of P and y units of Q, y units of Q are produced. This is our assumption. And x units of P and y units of Q are produced is assumption and we need to maximize the profit. So maximize profit, objective function, maximize profit. So the z is the profit, let z be the profit, z be profit and I need to maximize z. So z is what is, what is profit of uh, uh, P, 6 rupees for 1 unit, I am producing x units so it will become 6x. Profit on P is 6x plus profit on Q. Q, one unit of Q produces you 8 rupees, but Y units you are producing, so 8Y. This is the profit. This is the objective function. This is the function which you need to optimize. That is, this is the function which we need to maximize. Subject to conditions. Subject to constraints. Constraint means conditions. What are the conditions? Uh, the machine M1 is available for 2 hours. So, therefore, you can use 4X plus 2Y. 4X plus 2Y should be less than or equal to 2. And because we can't use more than this and 2x plus 5y, 
2x plus 5y should be less than or equal to 24 and number of units whatever you are producing should be always greater than or equal to 0. So, x should be greater than or equal to 0 and y also should be greater than or equal to 0. This is an LPP. Now, I formulated LPP right side of LPP. So, we need to maximize the profit. So, z is equal to 6x plus 8y conditions. These are the conditions and in beginning we have to assume x units of p and y units of q are produced to get maximum profit. Hope all of you got it. This is one type of problem where they will ask you to formulate. And the other type of problem in this chapter is maximize. They will ask you to solve graphically. Maximize subject to this condition or solve graphically. Solve the LPP graphically they will ask. So, they want you to maximize this. We call this as objective function. Subject to the conditions. They give three conditions. And we call the conditions as, so they give the conditions. These conditions we call them as what? Constraints. And we need to graph these constraints. So, now I have to draw graph for these three constraints. First one is 3x plus 5y less than or equal to 15. So, take 3x plus 5y equal to 15. Put x 0. In the place of x, if you put 0, this will become 0. So, 5y becomes 15 and y becomes 15 by 5. y is 3. One point you will get 0 comma 3. When you put x 0, you will get point 0 comma 3. This is a point on what axis? y axis. So, that is what we will do. This is 0 comma 3. So, this point is 0 comma 3. We have plotted. Then put so, once you get point on y axis, putting y 0, now put x 0. So, in the place of x, if you put 0, uh, it is in the same line, for the same line, put x z, y 0, you will get x 0, what is that? 5 comma 0, 5 comma 0 is this, so now you will get one line here. And here we have, if you see it is less than, less than means shade below. So, I have to shade below like this, I have shaded below. So, next second line. So, now I have uh, sorry, I have done with the first line. So, now I will go to the second line. So, I will draw second line. So, this is the second line 5x plus 2y less than or equal to 10. So, equate 5x plus 2y to 10. Put x 0, you will get y 5. y is equal to 0, comma 5. The point is 0, comma 5. 0, comma 5 is a point on y axis. When I put x is equal to 0 in the second line. So, this is the second line. In this line, in the place of x, if I put 0, I will get y value is 5. So, 0 comma 5, 0 comma 5 is means if x is 0, it is a point on what y axis, this is 0 comma 5, we got the point 0 comma 5, then put y is equal to 0. So, when you put y is equal to 0, you will get x is equal to 2, 2 comma 0, you will get other point, 2 comma 0 is a point on what axis, x axis, if you want point on x axis, put y 0. So, in the same line, then you stretch a line, you got this line. Now, we need to less than or equal to. So, if you see the second line is what less than or equal to. So, shade below, shade towards origin. So, I should shade towards origin. So, I have shaded this. Now, after you shade, retain the common region of shading. And always I will tell you this represents first quadrant. And the graph is in first quadrant, no need to graph this. So, dear students, coming to the point, here I should retain only common region where the shading will mix. The purple lines and yellow lines are mixing in this region. So, uncommon region we should erase. So, now I will erase uncommon region and retain common region. So, now let us erase uncommon. So, this only yellow I erase, only purple I will erase and I will retain the mixed region. So, the mixed region is this, this is feasible region. So, feasible region means this point, this point this point and this point. So, this region is feasible region. This whole region is what? Feasible region. This is a region, common region of shading. We call it as feasible region. So, now this is the feasible region. Uncommon part we should erase. How to draw a line? In order to draw a line, what we have done? So, we will find point on x axis. Put y 0, we will get point on y axis. Sorry, point on x axis. Put x 0, we will get point on y axis. Stretch a line between those two. So, now common region that is feasible region. So, now we got feasible region. What is a feasible region from the graph? So, from the graph feasible region is O and this point A, B and this point. So, you can name it as C. So, these are corner points. 0, 3 is one corner point and point of intersection. You draw perpendicular to x axis and y axis. When you draw perpendicular to x axis and y axis, they meet at this point and at this point we call it as what? 
point of intersection where from the graph you can find or you can solve the simultaneous equations and get. So now corner points O A B C O is 0 0 and A is 2 0 these are the vertices of feasible region substitute them. So when you put 0 0 in Z, Z becomes 0 when you put 2 0 in Z what is Z we have Z is what 5x plus 3y substitute 2 0 substitute 2 0 means what in the place of x put 2 in the place of y put 0 so it will become 5 into 2 plus 3 into 0 so that is 10 so you will get z 10 that is what we have written here like that substitute this here you will get this and like that and in this which is the maximum value 15.15 so z max maximum value of z is 15.15 occurs at this point that is x value 2.37 y point 1.1 this is a these are other type of problems so this is the conclusion either they'll ask formulate or they'll ask you to solve and by this we conclude the chapter so first case is what formulating lpp formulating lpp second type of problem is what graphically solving graphically solving lpp solving lpp and the last case is word problems of lpp word problems of LPP where we need to solve it graphically. So these are the three things we have in this chapter. I have covered all the types. Please sit and practice them. I will see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.